Yeah, look at the limbs on this tree overhanging this house here. That's a big tree. What's up, dog? What's up, buddy? Y'all remember, y'all remember Big John in here. I'm glad you finally showed up. Eight right. o'clock. I mean, yeah. traffic is bad. <laughs> traffic in Georgia. Yeah, you had to come over a long way, don't you, man? Yes, sir. Yes, you fixing sir. to own this tree, ain't you? Yeah. What What's the plan of attack? We're just gonna cut it all down at one time. What we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna try to put two climbers up there. Mm -hmm. Some people know how many people do so. Gonna try something that you always do. Pause. How are you gonna handle those big limbs over the house? You gonna put a rope on them and hold them, or how are you gonna do yeah, those? Yeah, we're just gonna be rigging everything on both sides. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a time consuming tree right here. It just takes a little bit of time to work it, don't it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Ground guys are important on this job right here, ain't they? Because when you drop a piece on the ground, they gotta get it out of the way, don't they? Gonna keep them busy all day, right? Yeah, especially having two climbers in the tree. That's right, definitely. They're gonna be in the go all That's day. That's right. Today. So, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the same too, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, we're gonna be sharing the same time. That's the best time. That's the best time. So, I'll probably start on this side. Probably starting this side too, and then I'm gonna start working towards the house because I probably have to do a redirect over that side. I'm gonna do the big limb over the house. That's gonna be good. All right, they're about to start working on setting lines. Johnny's gonna make a throw here. No pressure, Johnny. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. So the 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 stand in rookie first throw hit the hit the crotch perfectly. Uh oh. Johnny then got it then, there we go. Yeah, Johnny's gonna end up doing some crazy stuff with his third ball. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's first row going up. I wanna try to whip for you. There you go. Oh no, y'all look, that son of a gun, he's all the way up, and they're both going to be on that same limb right there. Johnny's about, well, that's about four foot higher than, than uh, four or five foot higher. yeah. And it really makes a difference too when you're four or five foot higher because the angles that you have with your rope, you know, helps a lot. Oh yeah. You don't want to go to the top with it? Oh, yeah, I got it. So, but I'm going to be doing a lot of redirecting over. So, the way, the way he needs high time point, he got to go down this way. It's not like another extra lane to go over. So, I'm going to be using a lot of redirecting this side. So, so Johnny's oh, pulling the canopy anchor up. Uh, he's pulling the canopy anchor up. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to choke up air in the very tip top up there.
rest of this video is all uh, drone footage and I'm just going to sit here and do a, a voiceover on it because this it was several minutes of drone footage and there was uh, no way to capture the audio on it of course the the wind was blowing pretty bad uh, this particular day here also so this is in uh, right in the middle of Cartersville Georgia I filmed this back in March, the middle of March. This was on the same weekend of the uh, big chainsaw class weekend that we had that uh, was in around Rome over there. So I knew that Johnny, this is uh, Johnny Lopez, knew that he and his guys were going to be doing a tree job, a big one here for a company called uh, Tree Amigos. And at the end of the video, I'll put Johnny's information uh, in the video here and I'll try to I'll try to remember to get Tree Amigos in there but Johnny and his guys do work for uh for Tree Amigos uh, sometimes when they have really big jobs like this but they're based in uh Johnny's in and around uh, Lawrenceville, Duluth, Buford area and he'll cover all around through there, even all the way over here to uh, Cartersville when uh, Tree Amigos needs him. And uh, Tree Amigos is based right there, uh, kind of Kingston, Cartersville area. I guess he's probably more Cartersville than anything. And he covers a, uh, he covers a big area too. They do a uh, lot of tree tech now. And I've been around Johnny uh, multiple times now. And I actually had an opportunity last weekend to do two jobs with Johnny and that y'all are going to see that, uh, in a future video coming up. And Johnny and I actually, uh, climbed together. This is Johnny that's right here, this in the center of the screen that you're watching. We climbed together, uh, in a tree, uh, last weekend too. So we've been talking about, uh, climbing classes and we are putting together a climbing class this going to end up being in the middle of June. Uh, so kind of keep your uh, schedules open if you're interested in it. It will be over there in Georgia, over there in the uh, Kingston area where everything else has been going down. And Johnny, right there, Johnny and then Jeremy, this at the beginning of this video, is, is are, they're going to be the two main instructors. Uh on this, I you know I was joking with Jeremy about being a rookie throwing a line up there. Jeremy is, Jeremy is no rookie. Now this other guy, this right here, his name is AJ that I'm focusing in right now. Uh, AJ is bad to the bone too, and AJ was on the job last weekend with us there, and it was kind of fun because. They brought lunch up. Uh, Johnny and I were in a tree together, and they brought lunch up and. They said, we're just going to sit here on the ground and watch you guys up in the tree and, and eat lunch. And me and John last said, y'all go for it, you know. But an incredible uh, group of uh, guys here. And the thing about the thing about them is there's uh, AJ again right there. What they do as far as safety is mind boggling. They watch everything. I mean, it, it doesn't matter if an ant crawls across the ground down there, they know it. I mean, it, it's, it's nuts the links at what they go through to make sure that not only them and a the tree are safe, but Anything else, if you'll notice on the ground, you see the orange cones and stuff. Those are marking things in the yard that they're not that they don't need to hit, so that they can glance and see where where they're at. But the uh, the guys on the ground uh, down there working the roots, the main one is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, his name is Alex down there on the ground, and. They ran that poor guy to death. I mean, every time he would have a rope cinched up, Johnny would make a cut as soon as he got it on the ground then and got it unhooked. I mean, AJ was ready to drop his on his side. And I mean it was just it was just back and forth and the first part of the video I I got in there and helped cut cut some of that stuff up. I wished I could have 
stayed and watched the whole takedown. But the class, uh, this is on that Friday, was going to be starting. And uh, I could, once the drone footage right here was done, I pretty much had to uh, pack up my stuff and, and head back to um, Kingston over there to get back to where I had a couple hours to kind of get everything, sit my my thoughts straight and everything and get things situated. You can see these guys right here just running around. They're, they're tending to AJ and Johnny in the tree like crazy. I mean, they're just – they're at – their beck and call. I mean, they're watching their body language. See him throw a bottle of water up to him, bringing them saws, uh, swapping saws out. Cause uh, Johnny was going between a 562 XP and this battery uh, top panel saw. That's what Johnny started out in the video with was a battery, the T540 IXP. And I'm gonna tell y'all uh, that I, I own one in. Those those saws are the bee's knees for being up in a tree. They smoke a gas power saw so bad it is insane. And they're you know, if you're even considering buying one of them, trust me, just spend a thousand dollars to get the whole kit and buy it. You will not be disappointed, and I I can promise you that. So kind of what I'm doing is, is I'm working with Johnny and them any time that I can and and just learning. This is AJ again right here. Uh, I think AJ last weekend, I think when I talked to him, I think he said he was 26. I think Johnny is uh, 34. And Johnny wants to get into the training aspect of things, so I'm going to help him uh, do that. And we're going to put together the programs, and that's going to kind of go because the, the climbing stuff is so crazy. Uh, you can – there's – literally thousands and thousands of pieces of gear out there that you can buy and a lot of it that you don't need and some of it that you know you, some of it that you do that's really good and some so if you're wanting to get into the climbing and you don't know what to do as far as gear does the the class will help you out a lot as far as that goes and then the basic class is going to get into your knots and and how to climb and all that stuff like that. And there, I've had a lot of questions and interest about rigging. Johnny and his guys are phenomenal about rigging. And they'll probably be, we'll see how this class goes. And then we'll get into some rigging stuff and things like that. Because it's one, one thing to climb and go up a rope and then working on limb walking and stuff like that. And then the actual rigging part of it is a whole different... Um, element to the ball game and that is what makes or breaks you it's just like john and him working over this house right here that they're that they're working over and not allowing anything to hit and even those limbs that are stretching back over that house you know uh, 30 feet out over it and they're working those limbs down and, and getting them down but there's not a lot of uh opportunities out there for uh climber training and stuff like that and most of that stuff is taught on the job by, you know, other climbers or ground guys that are that are watching a climber up in a tree and then and then they work with them and, and bring them up to speed and 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 do it like that. There's nothing like there's not a lot of there there are some formal training stuff out there, but it's boy, it's uh few and far between. So watch this limb right here. You see the red rope on the left. See, Johnny just put a choker on that limb. And now he's, they're all got center communications. Watch him when he pulls this rope up and loads this limb. Watch this limb move up some when he loads it on the porter wrap. See it move up? All right, so he's got it watched. Johnny's looking around. He's watching for it. See where all of his ground guys are. He knows he's got the... Rope loaded over there. He's ready to go. He's going to notch it. Looks around one more time. AJ's out of the way. Here it goes. Swings back to the redirect. Right there, straight down to the ground. As soon as it touches, they're grabbing it. That's one of Tree Amigos guys right there grabbing that limb. That's Alex on the right that was working a porter out right there. We, two hours. Uh, we, we've got the whole wrecking crew with us. We got Graham right here. We got Graham. What's your name? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 
AJ. And we got AJ. AJ's a stud, man. Alex. <laughs> Alex. And then we got big J Lo, Johnny Lopez, baby. What's your what's your tree company's name, Johnny? Arbor Saving Tree Care. Arbor Saving Tree Care. Give me your number, baby. 4439678858. Right. So if you're in the Lawrenceville, Duluth, Duluth Snellville, uh, Buford, yeah. yeah, anywhere in that area in Georgia, y'all give old Big Johnny a call. I uh, was lucky enough, I got to cut some trees down for Johnny today, this morning, got to do that, and got to share some of my knowledge with Johnny on tree cutting, and then his guys too. And then I got the opportunity to spend some time in the tree with you while you were doing some coaching on me, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've, I've yes, sir. cut trees all my life, but it's different when you're up in the tree compared to being on the ground. It's just kind of a different dynamic. And so you're a good teacher. And, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You're a good teacher, too. Yeah, well, I appreciate yeah, it. So Definitely learned some tricks from you today. We've been talking a little bit about a climbing class, and, and Johnny's going to be one of the instructors in that class. There's going to be more details coming about it later, but I'll just tell you this. Just keep the middle of June open and uh, just leave it like that. But uh, can't ask for a more beautiful day. Man, I appreciate you letting me hang out with you. Too, oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Thank like you. a brother. And then we got old cornbread style. He came, he's coming hung out today, too, man. So the last part of this video right here that you seen with me and Johnny was actually filmed last weekend on a Saturday before Easter. This was at the house we, where we climbed a tree in the backyard together, he and I together. What an incredible opportunity, y'all. Johnny Johnny is a master up in a tree. So is AJ. All of his guys are just uh, mind-boggling how good they are. Hearts of gold, you know what I mean? And just care about everything. And you're going to get to see the video with me and Johnny up in a tree with the camera from on my head, the POV camera there. And you're going to hear Johnny coaching me on everything. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm starting almost from scratch and having to be brought up but there again it goes back to the the big picture of things for me i'm wanting to be able to not turn down any tree job that i walk up to i want to be able to price every one of them that i go and i look at or anything like that and you can do that too if you're interested in this stuff um i'll i'll release more about it how to contact and how to sign up for it and, and all that stuff like that i will say this uh the class is going to be uh, small class, there's going to be three, uh, basically three instructors in it. There will be uh, at least four people kind of running it there at one time. And uh, and so we're going to limit limit it to 12. So once when I release this one right here, I don't I think within a day or so, it'll be filled up just like that right there. And uh, it's going to be very affordable. It's going to be kind of a two-day deal, and it'll run uh, $350 a, uh, a head for that. And a lot of instruction and incredible amount of knowledge uh, going forward in this in this thing like this. But uh, you put the right people together in the right places, man. You got a uh, you got a perfect recipe for something really good in the end. But uh, appreciate all y'all watching. Y'all have a great weekend this weekend. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.